Why is it that seaweed becomes seaweed when you fry it and the price doubles? Kevin never understood that in order to make money he sold his favorite computer and bought 10 boxes of seaweed. He wanted to get rich by frying seaweed but the seaweed was either bitter or too greasy. Even though his arms were covered in blisters from the oil, he tried again and again, just wanting to make delicious seaweed. However, the seaweed soon ran out and he still couldn't get the flavor he wanted. Just when he wanted to give up, he saw a packet of seaweed on the ground, which had been soaked by the rain the day before. But he didn't care and picked it up and put it into the frying pan to continue frying. Unexpectedly this time the fried seaweed both the color and appearance are very similar and then tasted it is the right taste. Looking at the soggy bag, he realized that the seaweed itself was very salty and had to be soaked in water first. After the launch of his seaweed business was really booming Kevin roughly calculated that he should be able to earn a million dollars a year and he was already very satisfied with this. He was so happy that he dialed his mother's number to share his joy. But she told him that his father owed a huge debt of 40 million dollars. Suddenly he was silent. He would never be able to pay off the 40 million dollars just by selling seaweed. He had to find a way out. He walked down the road in a daze and realized that there were three convenience stores on a single street. Which gave him a bold idea that he would make his seaweed available in all convenience stores under this brand. The next day, Kevin changed into his father's old suit and took his seaweed to the manager of the head office of the convenience store, hoping that all convenience stores would carry his products. But the marketing manager rejected him before he could finish his speech. Because his seaweed did not meet the criteria of the convenience store in terms of size, packaging and price, the manager didn't even want to try the seaweed. So Kevin got a professional to redesign the packaging and change the size of the seaweed. After everything was ready, Kevin went to the convenience store headquarters with a box of seaweed and the receptionist told him that the manager was in a meeting and needed him to wait. But he waited for a day and finally realized that the manager was not in a meeting but deliberately avoided it. Kevin turned away in anger and gave the seaweed to the security guard in the elevator. However, the opportunity often passes quickly. The headquarters staff found the seaweed Kevin left behind and took a few packs of it. But once he ate it, he couldn't stop eating it. So delicious that he would suck his fingers every time. Soon Kevin was called back to the general manager's office and the manager said he could put his seaweed on the shelves of more than 70,000 convenience stores. But only if his factory passed the food inspection. Kevin couldn't help it. His factory was just his kitchen. How could it pass inspection? Besides, it would take a lot of money to build a proper factory. Where would he get the money? 